everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we're going to talk about Stack of Red Quantity Leadership Model. This is from Valerian Chapter 28. And if you are using Nicholson and Snyder's book, that's from Chapter 12. So here we have a duopoly, two firms with one leader and one follower. So the leader is going to determine its quantity Y1 then the follower is going to observe Y1, then decide how much the follower itself wants to produce, which is Y2. And notice that two things. First, this is a sequential game. Therefore, we're going to use a backward induction to solve, meaning we're going to solve firm two profit maximization problem first. Then we're going to go back to solve the leader's problem. The other issue is that since we have a duopoly, the price is going to be a function of both Y1 and Y2, meaning both of their output. So here, we're going to solve the follower's problem first. We know the price is a function of Y1 plus Y2. In particular, in Valerian's book, the price is equal to A minus B times Y1 plus Y2. So that is the price function. Now, um, the profit is equal to revenue minus cost. So revenue is price times quantity, and the price is this function, so we just plug that in, times the quantity that will be your revenue minus cost. Now, in Valian's book, he assumes that the cost is equal to zero, so our profit is just equal to the revenue. So that's our profit. Now, to maximize the profit, we need to take the derivative of the profit with respect to quantity. And notice that firm 2 is going to treat y1 as given. So y1 to us really is just a constant. So it's straightforward. We don't need to worry about that. We take the derivative with respect to y2 and set it equal to 0 to maximize our profit. So after we do that with some algebra, you'll be able to find that y2 is equal to a minus b times y1 divided by 2b. We call that best response function. br stands for best response. So firm 2 is going to say whatever firm 1 produces, y1 is going to be a number. And I'm going to plug in this y1, this number, into this function. And I'm going to know how much I am going to produce. So the amount that I'm going to produce depends on how much firm 1 is going to produce. So we call that best response function. So we solve firm 2's problem. Now we're going to go back to solve the leader's problem. Now the leader knows that firm 2 is going to do this. So when the leader is trying to solve its problem, so this is the price function, the same as before, and Profit is equal to revenue because we assume that cost is equal to zero. So that's our profit. That's equal to the price times quantity. So here is our price. Price is that function times our quantity is y1. And notice that our price function has y2 in there. But firm 1 already knows that y2 is going to be equal to this animal here. So we are just going to plug in this y2 in here and get this function. So here is our profit function. Our profit function is equal to price times quantity. Remember, we don't have cost. So our profit is just equal to our revenue. So the rest is just algebra. We multiply that out. So that's our profit function. Take the profit with respect to quantity y1 and set it equal to 0. Then we get y1 star is equal to a divided by 2b. So firm 1 already knows how much it's going to produce. It is going to produce a divided by 2b. Now firm 2, it has a best response function. Firm 2 says that whatever you want to produce, I'm just going to plug it in, and I know how much I want to produce. So here, y2 is equal to a minus two. Sorry, a minus b times y1, and that's my y1. I just plug it in, divided by two b. So after some calculation, you'll find that y2 star is equal to a divided by four b. 
So I have calculated how much each firm is going to produce given this quantity leadership model. I hope this helps. The most important thing really is backward induction. And after that, the rest really is just algebra calculation. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.